Welcome. Today's Tech Talk is on Effective Technologies Transport Version 5 New Features. Today's new feature is on exporting BMC Foundation data. My name is Scott Bunton and I'll be presenting today's Tech Talk. Before we talk about exporting BMC Foundation data, I'd like to take a moment to give you a brief overview of Effectex transport application. Transport is a remedy application that moves data from CSV files to quickly load into staging forms, then validated before moving into the BMC ITSM application suite. This process can be an iterative load and does not require the data admin to remove data previously loaded. ET Transport is fully integrated with ITSM, CMDB, SLM, and SRM. Transport install has no customizations within the BMC Remedy Suite of BSM applications. The transport allows you to lower your Remedy ITSM data management effort by 50%. You can streamline ITSM foundation management and also simplifying ITSM people data management. Now that we have an idea of what ET's transport is, let's take a look at the new feature. So exporting BMC foundation data. It's brand new in version 5 and enables you to export select ITSM data uh, that is stored in the BMC Remedy applications. The, the exported data is saved in uh, generated CSV files and it's the same format as the out-of-the-box transport um, CSV files. Export feature provides an effective means to synchronize your foundation data across multiple servers. Um, you can do a fresh install and get a new server up and running very quickly. Um, the out-of-the-box export includes company CSVs, organizational, location, support group, people, uh, people permissions and support group associations as well, uh, product and operation categorizations, assignments, just to name a few. To get to the uh, BMC Foundation Data Console, it's within our onboarding console. Okay, so under the transport onboarding console, you will go to advanced functions and from there export BMC foundation data is the link you'll click. Okay, once the console uh, appears, you'll see it on the right here. And there are three columns. Okay, so let's go through each one of these. So going from top to the bottom, the company. Okay, you'll select the company to access the project names. The next field down is the project name. This allows you to either, and it's not, it's optional, so you can either select or you can leave it blank. And if you do select a project within that company, then it will pre-populate the export data area in some of those uh, text uh, areas. The next one down is the select a company. And here is uh, when we choose a company to uh, in the drop down, this will uh, filter the data based on that company value. If you want to further qualify your exported data, you can do that within the transport job. There is an activity now that uh, includes a data export within that uh, job. Okay, and that'll allow you to further qualify with a with a qualification. The next is a path name in the exported data area. So this is where all your generated CSVs will will be saved to. Okay, you got to make sure that the path name has a terminating slash at the at the end, because it'll basically con concatenate the path name and the file name prefix. And that takes us to the prefix and make sure that these prefix are unique because it will, if you're going to be exporting people, it'll give it the path name, it'll concatenate the prefix underscore the people CSV. And then 
click on the generate files and that'll create two files the ARM file and the CSV the one we care about is the CSV that's the one you'll be handing out to your uh, support techs or um, uh, service uh, like the ser service owners <clears throat> and then once the um, file is created you will get uh, the results in the um, result field now moving over to the right we have the two different columns the left column select the data to export um, these are all the available data types we can choose to export okay and you know you again you can see that there's quite a few here in the list product cat operational um, there's assignments there's tasking incident templates so all that data you can move over to the right to the selected area and these are the data types that are selected for the export okay so it will go into the BMC remedy app and pull all the company data for that selected company the organizations in that company the locations generate them into a CSV file and allow um, us to to export that data in that uh, path name and then we now have a CSV file that we can use through Excel we can scrub it we can modify it we can re-import it so once we're happy with all the selected data we're able to um, generate your files okay the generate files will uh, will give you a full result of a file by file basis and depending on how large or how much data is in each file it will take you know uh, that much longer so we have three different examples here of uh, three different data types that are exported the transport export process will use the out of the box CSV file format to export your data um, this is the case whether you have created a simplified version of your data type um, we do have more information on how to create simplified data types and that basically allows you to um, eliminate a lot of unneeded columns that you don't typically provide data for all right so uh, now that we have exported our data support group and people data now we can import that using effect tech transport uh, to other environments to sync these up these are some of the other new features for transport version 5 to simplify data collection uh, we also have a self-service data management that allows us to request permissions or support group associations uh, through a pre-built um, SRM uh, service request we also have some other ones that uh, we'll be talking about as well be sure to check us out on our YouTube channel or log on to our website thank you so much for watching and have a great day